you think it's... Right, now then. As the title of this video makes it very explicit. Stacy and Colleen share their abortion experiences. Now, two has-beens amongst so many has-beens get on to this program and you know it wasn't that long ago that this program would not have been put on air that the people of the United Kingdom would not have entertained this program because of the wording loose women it has now become fashionable increasingly fashionable to be a loose woman as much as a loose man morals and ethics going down the toilet this term loose women sums these women up whether they like it or not I mean I for one wouldn't sit on a program that said loose men I just wouldn't do that I'd protest it's a detestable thing to be known as but not today and so it is with this subject of murdering infants Babies in the womb, because that's what it all is. And they can talk about it brazen faced, not ashamed, not ashamed. These women are not ashamed. That goes against nature itself, human nature. How did you become that hard-faced? How did you become that evil? How do you sit on a programme like this and talk about your abortion? That's the term they use. Because they don't want to be faced with the fact that they've murdered a child. Oh, yes. They make every excuse under the sun and give these fancy names out and dig out terminology to try not to have to face the fact that they killed an innocent child. You know, one of the excuses is that the child, according to government, we all know what government is, A child is not a child until they get to so many weeks. So what is it before they get to so many weeks? A plant pot? What is it? A misnomer? What is it? Because that's what you're saying it is. It. What's the it before it gets to so many weeks? You go to the doctors and he says, oh, you, you, you're expecting a dog. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, what kind of dog is it? Well, um, you'll have to get a scan. Because we're not too certain yet. Oh, I hope it's a poodle. Oh, Bichon Freeze. Love to have a Bichon Freeze. Oh, always wanted one. Ooh, you know, my neighbour down the road, he's got a pug. That's the latest one. Maybe I'll get one of those. Don't really like them. Hey, eh? Does that nonsense go on in, in a surgery? Now the doctor knows, and you know, <clears throat> we all know, that you're expecting a baby. It is defined as a baby. Because it is a human being. Weeks have nothing to do with it. We're in the surgery, we understand that. In daily life, we understand that. Persons will come up, oh, how many more weeks have you got to go? Before the lamppost comes out, or the dog comes out, or the parrot comes out. Huh? Of course they don't. They say, how many, 
How many weeks? You know, and, and what are you going to call over him? Do you know what sex it is? Yeah. Oh well, it, it's only it's only uh, a few weeks. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm going to have you killed. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I must placate the conscience. Uh, I'm going to have you aborted, slung away. Oh. Is that the fashion then? Yeah, everybody's doing it, so I must go and do it. And then, of course, you see afterwards what they don't appreciate is the fact that they've got a conscience and they've just struck up and struck out against their conscience. And they have to live with that. And again, why they will not face the term that of murderer. You see, a child, as we have said, as we accept, a child is not a child after so many weeks. At conception, a child is born. And this is one of the cons of government that murderers like to use. You see, they ter turn the term wrongly. They misuse the term born to mean the child coming into the world. They deliberately do this. And with some, they don't know the difference. They think a child coming into the world, therefore, is born into the world. N no. <laughs> no. A child, a human being, a person, is born in the womb. And then, so many months later, is brought into the world. You see, it's like an idea. Before an idea is brought into the world, it's born in the understanding, the intellect. It's born there. It's given life there. It remains there. And then when it is expressed, it comes forth into the world. <clears throat> as simple as that. With governments, you see, excuse me a moment, um, it's like a cup of tea. Governments, because they are addicted to naval terminology, in the way they treat their subjects, use the birth as in birthing in a harbour, wayside. Okay, the ship that we are of commerce has birthed. And people generally don't understand that the naval terms are used for us. Okay. That we are commercial vessels. And that we are collateral. So that when wars begin by governments, unjustifiable wars, and the blares of this world, the wicked, of the wicked, turn around and say collateral damage when referring to people. They just mean that. That's all the people are, are not human, but simply collateral. And the collateral which you can borrow money upon. Okay, so you can get in debt and in debt and in debt as long as you've got the people behind you that represent that debt basically. It's what you're borrowing by, the people. Anyways, these persons know darn well that there is a living being growing in them. And those that are heartless, those that are callous, those that are wicked, those that are going against conscience and against nature, and so many for a lifestyle that this child will interfere with my lifestyle 
and my career, I'll get a shot of it. I'll just bung it. I'll go, I'll go down, go down the hospital and get, get it picking sorted. And then the argument comes up and says, well, you know, if you can't go down the picking hospital and get it sorted, it's going to be back, back street surgeons and people die and all this business. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> you tell me something, OK? If the NHS, for instance, and if the government uh, for another decided not to murder children, OK? This term abortion, I'm not going to use that. They can use that to soothe, try and soothe the consciences, OK? It's not abortion, it's murder. Child murder. If the NHS and the government banned m child murder, OK? And the lefties got up and shook their fists. Oh, it's going to be backstreet surgeons and people are going to die, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right, OK. Fair enough, let them die. Let the buggers die. Because if they're going to kill a child, shouldn't they suffer? Hmm? Shouldn't they? What is wrong with giving birth to a child, sorry, bringing forth a child into this world, even though they don't want a child? Okay, they call it a mistake. Okay, their sin, they call a mistake. Just to excuse themselves. And the thing is, once they brought a child into the world, why not adopt, give it in adoption? Why not? You've not murdered the child, you don't want the child, but somebody there will want the child. <clears throat> hmm? And these that go for IVF, how selfish is that? Downright selfish. Their world is themselves. Oh, I don't want to adopt, but there's a child there that needs parents. You selfish pair. Absolutely selfish. You don't belong to society. You're not joining in society. And lastly on this, where a mother is in danger of losing her life because of the child, then it would be morally, <coughs> pardon me, morally justifiable to allow the child to go and the mother to survive. You see, it works this way. The child won't have a mother. Okay, fair enough. If the mother dies. But, the mother, if she survives, okay, can go on, maybe, to have other children. So therefore, giving life to other children. Why take one life away that may be able to produce other lives just for one child it's like uh, I, I don't like to lower it but it, if, you, if we can imagine it's like a disease okay the child is diseased it's 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 going to die or it's going to survive it's it's in a situation and it's to and fro if the mother has the child taken away, then you can't, we can't say it was murder. It was, it was simply a matter of a complication that couldn't be rectified and the mother has to survive. I, I don't care what fellas say, because fellas, I'm a, I'm a fella, <laughs> says something. Um, what other fellas have to say? It's not they that are having to make the decision between life and death. It's the mother. And it's entirely up to the mother. You see, at the end of the day, if there is a complication and the mother's life is in danger, and maybe the child will survive, it is up to the mother to make the choice. And she can't be held guilty of having to terminate that pregnancy because she isn't doing it 
with malice a forethought, like these buggers are doing it. It's simply uh, everything has gone wrong. That's life. Across providence, across piece of nature, it's gone wrong. We have to start again, sadly. But it's up to the mother, nobody else. And so we should have a just weight and a just balance to these things. But these boys here can sit upon this. Oh, disgusting, isn't it? Loose women. What a term. Painted dollies. Waffling on. Hard faced. Having murdered the children. Think about these programs. Is nobody is any better off having listened to these left wing programs than they were when they began? Because all it is is empty rhetoric trying to persuade people continually that to murder children isn't wrong. Do you know something behind the picking scenes, and this is the worst part, behind the scenes, okay, all this here is put on, it's all clinical, all the words are smooth words, behind the scenes there is a life beyond this false image that each and every one has to live, try and live, with the understanding and the conscience what little conscience they have left that they've murdered a child and if you were to tell them well you murdered a child they would rip oh, they'd rip your eyes out or oh, they wouldn't be sitting here pleasant as anything they'd rip your picking eyes out I tell you by heck the mask would fall from their faces What I can't understand, except out of absolute sheer wickedness, is a woman who's healthy, the baby is healthy, and she turns around and says, I want my career, I don't want my child. A woman has to be absolutely utterly, totally evil because that goes against everything that is within a natural mother and any mother will tell you that it diametrically goes against the mothering instinct That takes some doing. To deny one's own nature, natural instinct. To go off the pig in Wales altogether. But there are people like that, there are people here like that. We would never, we would never do what these people do, but because we are who we are. But these people here, these pigging gets evil, murderous, are the reflection, basically, of the other side. There's good, there's evil. There's light, there's darkness. There's truth, there's lies. And as there is absolutes on one side, there's absolutes on the other. And these are absolutely evil, wicked, murderous persons. But in this secular age, oh, the roof's all lifted off. Oh, you can't say the murderers. Oh, this, that and the other. And you turn around and say, look at the pig in state of society. And you buggering boys have created this state of this society by your immorals 
and unethical behaviour and all the pegging rest of it upholding this wickedness and then you complain about the state of society. Well, you are picking society. You make up society. I make up society. And society only reflects what we are living out in our lives. Society, like a pig in house, doesn't destroy itself. The windows don't go round and say, I'm going to have a pig in fight with the back door. Does it? Listen, listen to picking lefties. Look at that picking ass down the road. Oh, it's right, picking ass. Oh, blame the council. Blame this. Blame. No, hang on a minute. It's the previous tenant. Oh, but the, but, the, but the house is in such a mess that it makes people to be in such a mess and they, they don't appreciate it and all this business. Yeah, well, they did it in the first place. What do you think the builders picking did? Hmm? Built a wreck? Or did they just build a picking ass and wreck it? People wreck it. And people wreck society. Don't they? And there are few and far between. They're the salt of the earth. And if persons were not standing up against so much of this big in wickedness and wickedness in the authorities. The whole place would go down. The toilet. It's only because decent, honest people stand up against society, against the hoaxes, against the lies, the falsehood, the deceit, the despicable ways. They go down and say, I'm not having this, bud. Hang on a minute, that's not right. <laughs> 